It's been a year in which he's won Cosmopolitan's Sexiest Man and then got on to take Season 7 of SABC 3's Strictly Come Dancing SA. All of that whilst being a top billing presenter, working on two films and doing cover shoots and press interviews. Is he just so comfortable with doing all these photo shoots and stuff? I mean, how, the, how does the exposure feel to you? You know, we do it because we love it. Mm. It's not about the glitz and the glamour. Yeah. You know, we're doing this job because we're passionate about it and because we love it. And it's, it's just good fun. Man. Well, I want to know, and people want to know, what did you do before Top Billy? <laughs> I started out in theatre writing, directing, acting, and, and I made the transition to film. So I've always been, you know, whether it's behind the camera or in front of the camera, I'm happy. If I'm on a set, I'm happy. You know, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. From, yeah. from when I was a young kid, I used to steal my dad's home camera and make, <laughs> take my little toy soldiers and make movies yeah. and pretend that I was on camera and stuff like that. So wow. it's been a dream of mine forever. Cool, so I'm going to change. I'll see you now. Okay, fantastic. Get your funny face on. I don't steal my thunder. Don't take pictures of it. Simba, who won our first presenter search, understands much of Jonathan's recent journey. But for the full picture, we headed to the Princess Alice Adoption Home. If his work with and on behalf of the home's 30 children is especially close to Jonathan's heart, it's because he too was adopted from here. Uh, what is it like to come back here again? I mean, I know you've been here before, but it still must be quite emotional, right? Yeah, very, but it's, it's as you can see, you can feel there's so much love here. Like, all these babies are so happy and they get so much attention. So you get this really warm feeling because it's all about hope. You know, it's about second chances. People have this perception that, that it's an orphanage and it's like Oliver Twist and people begging <laughs> for their food. Yeah. But it's, it's completely the opposite. I mean, you can see the amazing work they're doing here. And uh, that's why I love bringing people here to show them. And they, they always leave with a smile and very broody. So um, <laughs> after this, uh, Simba's going to find a girlfriend and he's going to have a kid. <laughs> or a topped one. When Jonathan auditioned for Top Billing in 2012, he had only recently made contact with his own biological mother. <laughs> <laughs> What's your relationship like with your birth mother? I've got a great relationship, you know. I'm lucky to, to have that with, uh, with my birth mother. And I found her and, and have a very solid relationship with her. But I've had the most incredible life. So uh, everything worked out beautifully in the end. I think it's great to see that you're not holding a grudge. You know, you always feel like you've taken the part you're always supposed to take, right? Absolutely. It's all about that. I think that's why from a young age I was a dreamer, you know, always believed in the right place, right time and second chances and um, fate and coincidence. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm just so lucky to, um, to have the parents that I do. That has got on to make his own way so successfully also has much to do with getting a good start, courtesy of nurse Priscilla Tobelli. Gogo, you've been here since 1979. Do you remember me? I do remember you. Really? Yes, I How? do. With my eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you probably gave me my first meal. You gave me my first bath. I did everything for you. Hey, everything, <laughs> all the, even the dirty work, eh? Yeah, I did everything. <laughs> Gogo, how does it feel for you guys here at Princess Alice to see Jonathan doing so well? We are very proud to see what Jonathan is doing. And we are also proud of all the babies that were here. Because that is what Princess Alice is all about. Is to see that the babies that were here get a better future. With victory on Strictly Come Dancing, Jonathan's the first to win two big reality TV shows in South Africa. Only now he must watch Hayley Bennett Fraden kick on with a new leading man. Cut, hey, cut, 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 cut. What, what's going on here, Hayley? Yeah, this is... You're breaking my heart here. Are you, we heard you're you're cheating. cheating on me with another dancer. Yeah. <laughs> it's my place of work. This is like busted in the act. What's going on here? Huh? I mean, it's okay, it's Johannes, but still, it still breaks my heart that you're cheating I know, well, you know, you're so busy. Yeah. I How know. to find a, another awesome dancer to partner me. I actually was supposed to do this, but I didn't have time. It takes me 14 hours a day, seven days a week to be able to do what they just did now. So. <laughs> but hang on, I remember at the beginning, you, you sort of said that he wasn't great, right? Not yeah. just her, everybody. It was South like Africa. The nation. <laughs> but South Africa was like, oh, he's going home after one week. I remember being in Cape Town with this guy, and he's like, no, listen, I need to be back by midnight. Yeah. Yes, I need to wake up and dance. I was like, no, but guy, <laughs> like, the party just started. Yes. Now you want to go dance. I miss it so much. Dance, I'm still yeah. wearing my Charleston shoes. Yeah. This is from our yes. Charleston week on the bar, where we danced on the bar. That was awesome. Was that your favorite awesome dance? Bar. The James Bond dance is probably your favourite, eh? Yes. The Paso was amazing. You're Paso. wearing our Paso outfit, yeah? I'm cheating on him and You're his cheating on me in my outfit. favourite outfit. <laughs> well, you didn't wear this one. Huh? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> not on camera, I didn't.
Jonathan and Harry. When Jonathan cried at winning, it was an understandable release after having kept it together for months of an impossibly tough apprenticeship. Smile, yes, Bami. Bami. Yes. Well, what are you doing? I don't know what I was doing. What I did when I forgot the steps. That's what happened when I forgot the steps. I just was going like this. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know, I, I've got newfound respect for what you guys did. Seriously, Thank well you. done. It is the most difficult thing you will ever do. But uh, when you come out on the other side, you yeah. feel like you can achieve anything and accomplish anything. You really can. Jonathan's adoptive parents, Northcliffe's Tubby and Bronwyn Boynton Lee, watched him graduate from Rhodes University and then become a lurry winning commercials director. But there was one thing they didn't anticipate. John, you get us some coffee. I'm gonna get some gossip from your parents here. He couldn't dance though, right? Well, he'd never danced. Yeah. I mean, he's turned out to be quite a dancer, but he had, truly Simba, he had never danced because we go to the Drakensberg to the cavern every year and they have a dance on New Year's Eve and a dance on Christmas Eve. And Jonathan never even walked down the floor. So when he said, you know, Mom, they want me to come on Strictly Come Dancing, I said, but Jonathan, you can't dance. So he said, yeah, but they teach you. <laughs> is, this, uh, is this John as a little kid? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You guys must be so proud of him doing so well, right? Yes, no, I'm very proud of Jonathan. If he set his mind on something, he really, really tries very hard. Yeah. And in the case of this uh, Strictly Come Dancing, in the first night, he only won three. And, uh, you know, we thought we'd be knocked out, but he really put in an, a tremendous amount of effort. Mm -hmm. It actually proved that if you, if you believe and you try hard enough, you will succeed. And, and Johnny's a humble guy. He's, a, he's actually quite a shy guy. I'm quite surprised to see him talking the way he does on, on Top Bully, because he's a very humble guy. Another of his obvious talents is as a superhero of an uncle to his four-year-old nephew, Matthew, and niece, Baby Madison. Being around them and their mum, Jennifer von Yarsfeld, keeps him real. Is it weird to think that this is your big brother? It is weird. Um, he was always my big brother, and now he's a lot of people's big brother and come dancer and top billing presenter. But, um, yeah, no, I'm very proud of him. <laughs> it seems like he's always been the same guy, he hasn't changed at all. No, no always been the same guy. Whatever you see on TV is exactly how he is with us. Now, do you, I mean, you're a big family man. Are there any special women in your life that you like to start a family with? I've got well, is there one? three very special women in my life. <laughs> my mom, yeah? my sister, and my niece. Well, there we go. And Good top, answer. Top Ling's my girlfriend at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> well, dude, I'm proud of you. Your family's Thanks, proud of you. Friend. Good luck to you, man. Yeah, to the both of us, to a good future, my brother. Lovely. All of us at Top Billing are proud to say he's part of our family too.